I am going to show you some characteristics of the doubly linked list data structure in c -sharp. Here are the topics I'm going to cover. What is a doubly linked list? Creating a doubly linked list. Inserting data in a doubly linked list. Deleting a node from a doubly linked list. What is doubly linked list? Doubly linked list is a linear data structure. Each node contains three parts, data, previous link, and the next link. The head points to the first node. The previous link of the first node points to none. The next node of the last node points to none. For example, in this linked list, the head node's value is 1. Node 1's next node takes us to node 2. And node 2's next node brings us to node 3. Node 3's next node is none. And it is the last node or the tail node in the doubly linked list. Node 1's previous node is none. And node 2's previous node is node with value 1. Node 3's previous node is the node with value 2. Now I will show you how to create a node in a doubly linked list. Class node. The node class named node, which can be given any name. Int data. The data in the node. In this case, I'm making a linked list with the integer data type. But when you make your own list, you can choose int, double, string, char, or any other data type. Node brief, the address of previous node. The data type is the same as this class node. Node nest, the address of nest node. The data type is the same as this class node. Public node int d is the constructor of the node's class. Data equals d. Sets the node's data from the parameter passing into the constructor. Prev equals to num, sets previous node's address pointer to num that doesn't point to anywhere. Nest equals to num, sets nest node's address pointer to num that doesn't point to anywhere. Now we will create a doubly linked list class. Class double linked list defines the double linked list class name. Node head is the head node with node class type for the doubly linked list. I'll give you an example how to insert data at the beginning of doubly linked list. For example, in this doubly linked list, I want to insert a new node with value 4 at the beginning of the doubly linked list. To do this, firstly set the first node's previous link to the new node. Then set the new node's next link to the first node with value 1. Now change the head pointer to point to the new node with value 4. Now the node with value 4 is inserted at the beginning of the doubly linked list. Write the C sharp method based on the steps shown in the previous slides. Insert front is passing with two parameters into the method doubly linked list and a new data's value which is an integer. Node new node equals new node data. Creates a new node with data. New node dot nest equals double linked list dot head. Put the new node's nest link to the head of the linked list. New node dot brief equals to none. Sets the new node's previous link to be none. If Double linked list dot head not equal to none. If the head of the linked list is not none, double linked list dot head dot brief equals new node. Set the head node's previous link to the new node. Double linked list dot head equals new node. Points the head of the linked list to the new node. I will give you an example how to insert data at the end of double linked list. I'm going to use the same linked list. Now I want to insert a new node with value 4 at the end of the doubly linked list. 
How can we do that? We can change the last pointer of the last node in the linked list to point to the new node with value 4. Then we change the previous link of the new node with value 4 to point to the last node of the linked list. What if the linked list is an empty linked list that only has a head pointer without any nodes yet? In this case, we can just set the head pointer to point to the new node with value 4. Now we can write a method based on the previous steps to insert a node to the end of the linked list. The method insert last takes two parameters. One is double linked list and the other one is an integer named new data. Node new node equals new node data creates a new node with data. If double linked list dot head equals to none, if the linked list is empty, that the head points to none. Double linked list dot head equals new node. Set the head of the linked list to the new node. Returns returns to the end of the method. Node last node equals get last node double linked list. If the linked list is not empty, then get the last node. Last node dot nest equals new node. Set the last node's nest pointer to the new node. New node dot brief equals last node. Set the new node's previous pointer to the last node of the linked list. For example, use the same linked list. At the beginning, the head and tail pointer point to the first node in the linked list. Since the first node's nest pointer is not now, tail move to the second node in the linked list, a node with value 2. Since the second node's nest pointer is not now, temp moves to the third node in the linked list, a node with value 3. Since the third node's nest pointer is now, temp won't move further, and now temp is pointing to the last node in the linked list. We will implement the method to get the last node of the doubly linked list. Get last node is the method name, and it takes one parameter double linked list and returns a node. Node temp equals to double list dot head initializes a temp node to point to the head of the linked list. While temp dot nest not equal to num, while the temp node's nest pointer is not num, do the following: temp equals to temp dot nest moves temp node to the nest node in the linked list. When the while loop ends, temp node's nest pointer will point to null. That means it is the last node in the linked list. Return temp returns the temp node as the last node of the linked list. What if we want to insert a node in the middle of the linked list, right after another node? In this example, I want to insert a node with value 4 up to a node in the linked list with value 2. Brief node is pointing to the node to be inserted after. To do this, we first point the new node's nest pointer to the node right after the node with value 2. In this case, it's the node with value 3. Then we point the brief node's nest pointer to the new node with value 4. Then we point the new node's previous pointer to brief node with value 2. Then we point the last node's previous pointer to the new node with value 4. Now the insertion is completed. Found a linked list with the new node inserted right after the node with value 2 and right before the node with value 3. The C sharp algorithm for those steps are implemented in the following way. The method's name is insert after. It is two parameters. One is brief node and another one is integer new data. The return type is void, means it won't return any data type value back after the method call. If brief node equals to none, if brief node is none, print out error. Node new node equals new node data creates a new node with data. New node.nest equals brief node.nest. Set new node's nest link to brief node's nest node. Brief node.nest equals new node. Set brief node's nest link to the new node. 
new note dot brief equals to brief note. Set the new note's previous link to the brief note. If new note dot last note equal to num, if the new note's last note is not num, new note dot last dot brief equals new note. Set the new note's last note's previous link to the new note. After insertion algorithm, we look at how to delete a note from a doubly linked list. Use the same linked list. I want to delete a node with value two in the linked list. Node with value two needs to be deleted. We need to find the node right before the node with value two. In this case, it is the node with value one. We will implement this method delete node by key. It has two parameters. One is the double linked list. The other is an integer key. Void delete node by key. Double linked list. Double linked list int key. Node temp equals to double linked list dot head. Set the temp to point to the head of the linked list. If temp null equal to null and temp dot data equals to key. If the head of the linked list is not null and its data is equal to the key, double linked list dot head equals to temp dot nest. Point the head of the linked list to the next node of the temp pointer. Double linked list dot head dot brief equals to null. Set the head of the linked list previous link to be null. Return ends the method. If the first node does not contain the key to be found, we will do the following. Temp originally points to the head of the linked list. See this example. The value to be deleted is two. Which is now the first node of the linked list. While temp not equal to null and temp dot data not equal to key, while temp is not null and temp's data is not the key value, temp equals to temp dot nest. Temp moves to the nest of the temp pointer. If temp equals to null, if temp is null means after the while loop no node to be found that contains the key value, returns the end method with the return statements. If ten dot nest not equal to num, if ten nest node is not num, ten dot nest dot brief equals ten dot brief. Set the ten nest node's previous link to temp's previous node. If ten dot brief not equal to num, if temp's previous node is not num, ten dot brief dot nest equals to ten dot nest. Set the temp's previous node's nest link to temp's nest node. We have implemented a doubly linked list using C sharp. We have also performed various operations on them, add and delete. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to learn more about data structures and algorithms. See you next time.